Hey, I'm Donna, and in this session, we're going to be talking about my recent trip to France, all of the self-care stuff that I did, the amazing facialists that I got to meet while I was there, the institutes and places I got to go to for treatments, some of the shopping I did, the self-care date that I had with myself. At the end of this, we're going to go over all the products that I bought, as well as some of the purses I got while I was in France. So if that's for you, wait till the end. Otherwise, just let's go look at the cool places and kind of little mini date that I did with myself for now. I'm Donna Guerreros. I'm the creator and curator of the Donna's Project, and we're basically a project that documents my self-care journey, interviews with really dope people who are very, very inspiring without a lot of overwhelm, and sharing routines and rituals and things that have worked for me and things that haven't. So take what's for you, leave what's not. Definitely leave some comments below about uh, what you liked about this episode and yeah, what you didn't, because I'm open to criticism. Doesn't mean I'm gonna take it, but uh, I'm definitely open to it. So let's uh, let's start with with the place that I was dying to go to and couldn't wait to get to the moment I landed in Paris, which was Bouli uh, Universelle. It's like Officine Universelle Bouli. People just call it Bouli, B-U-L-Y. This is a place and an institute that basically started in the 1800s. When you go to their building, it's like a step back in time. It's so beautiful. It's like a little apothecary, a little cafe, pharmacy, skincare. They make their own products. They also curate products and routines from all over the world. And a lot of the products are natural. They're based in plant essences, a lot of oils and um, herbs and things like that. And kind of like a more like natural approach to skincare. I loved it there. I went there twice while I was there. You can also get treatments if you want. Um, I didn't. I just went for product and for education. And everybody who works there, they just know everything about. They're so educated on the products and the modalities and the history of the ritual and the history of the routine and what country it comes from and the culture behind it. And I really like that the products that they curate, they just explain and they talk about the history of, or they talk about the culture and the country it's from, or who made it. They had combs and products from Japan and Italy that were handmade. They had a product and a lip stain and a lip tint from Morocco, another one from Japan as well. They had ingredients from all over the world and they really did such a good job in explaining, you know, how these things work together and where they were from. And I, I really, really liked all of that, as well as how long they've been used in certain beauty routines and rituals in other cultures and traditions. So that was really, really cool. And while I was at Bouli, I ended up getting their book, which they personalized for you if you buy it. I got a personalized lip gloss and I also bought um, some of their products, which I'll share now. I got their firming oil, which is more for redefining, shaping, and treating the chest and the neck. A lot of women who have had a baby or have breastfed use this. A lot of birthing individuals use it. I don't know if you can see it. It is called the Firming oil, it's a daily massage of daisy macerate that defines the chest area, helps restore the skin's firmness after pregnancy, and tones the face and contours. So that is one of the products that I got from them. Another product that I got from them is the Climbing Ivy Macerate. This is used for, and again, I'm probably pronouncing these things wrong, but um, this is used for cellulite, this is used for firmness, and this is pretty much used on your legs, your arms, and um, your body. I also bought the Fener, Fener Greek oil. This smells like celery. Not so crazy about it. Um, it's for your chest and your neck, but I'll probably use the firming oil once I finish this. I did open it and um, I bought it, so I'm going to use it. Um, the smell, it's a little much for me though. But again, if you like celery, you'll love the way it smells. Finally from them, I got the repairing oil. This is a sea buckthorn based oil and it's for signs of aging. It's for making your skin vibrant again. It's for mature skin. It's for damaged skin. And um, I'm going to use this when I gua sha. So that's what I'm going to use that for. And if you want to see what that looks like, it's just another bottle. Their packaging is all pretty much the same. So that's what we got there. And that's what I bought there, as well as a dry brush. And then I also bought the Moroccan lip stain that you saw in that video. Um, that is just so cool. They also had one from Japan. The one from Japan was a couple of hundred dollars. The one from Morocco was like 25. So I got the one from Morocco, which I kind of wanted anyway, because I have a friend who's from Morocco and I wanted to like get it and um, share that with her that I, I bought it. And I don't know. So that's why I picked the one from Morocco on top of the price, but it was also a little uh, connection to her. 
So I went lingerie shopping at the Galleria. That was really cool. I wanted to go there because the lingerie, they have all different types of brands. They have everyday brands. They have more luxurious brands. Price points are relatively low to high. So I kind of wanted to get a mix of lingerie. And even though my husband was buying for me, um, which was part of my birthday present, I wanted to keep uh, the price in check. And I did get some pieces for every day. And then I did get some sexier pieces and some more um, pieces for kind of, you know, special occasions. And uh, stuff that's just for the bedroom. I'm not going to show you that. Uh, we're going to keep going. So I'm coming for my uh, facial treatment today. I'm going to go for a skin analysis and then I'm going to figure out what products I should be using from the line based on that. And then I'm going for a two hour treatment, which I'm so excited about. It's a perfect way to end my trip. Just left my session with Vanita. I feel like my face has been lifted. My soul has been lifted. I can't, like, look at this glow. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for our session. If you are ever in Paris, please, please, please come see this woman. She is, she is so special. All right. I also got um, facials while I was there, and I got to be treated at two different places. One place, both kind of trained under the similar modality. So Biologique is one of the institutes. And if you know French skincare, you know this place. And a lot of people love their P50, which is um, one of their most popular products. A lot of people in fashion, can you see this? I don't know. Um, a lot of people in fashion use this and a lot of skincare people use this. I love it. It's a little harsh on my skin. I can't use it every day. It is kind of an, a natural exfoliator without like abrasion. I, it's not natural. There's a lot of chemicals in it, but it's not as abrasive and doesn't need, um, you just kind of put it on and it does it itself. You know, you don't have to like do any steps and that's what I like about it. Um, but I can't use it every day. I'm using it like maybe every three days and I'm using it at night now. So Biologique, um, what they do when they bring you in and you get a treatment there. This is one of the most luxurious treatments I've ever gotten. The facial was two hours long. When they bring you in, they do a skincare assessment and they check your skin with some of their proprietary um, machinery. Basically, it checks your skin for hydration, for collagen, for firmness, for elasticity, for signs of aging, dryness, oil. And then based on what the machine says, that's what they end up treating you for and they do your treatment. So my treatment was based on that and what I needed in the moment. She did tell me that my skin is aging pretty well so far and to kind of keep up what I'm doing, but I do need a lot more hydration um, as uh, certain areas were a little... Um, a little lacking. So the treatment is really cool because they have this machine that they use that is like an electronic stimulation machine. And just forewarning, if you do go for it, um, you can't have a cardiac issue and you are going to like taste metal in your mouth when you get it done and you salivate a lot. I wasn't prepared for that. She didn't explain that to me. I think mostly probably because of the language barrier, but um, my mouth just got filled with saliva where I was had to like tell her to stop. It kind of made me a little anxious because I didn't know it was coming. And um, I had to like spit it out and because it was just so much. I was like, hold on, I have to like spit. And she's like, oh, I probably should have told you that was going to happen. She's, because it was like, I couldn't really swallow because she was like, had the prongs and, and I was laying down. So it was just was a lot at once. But after I realized that was going to be happening, I was fine with it. And my skin looked beautiful after this facial. It was firm. It was plump. It was hydrated. I looked like 10 years younger, honestly. I was glowing. And um, it really was just a testament about how like you can do a lot of stuff. You really can just do a lot of stuff if you take care of your skin, if you have the time, if you have the money. And yeah, I could see why a lot of celebrities look really, really great, especially the ones who um, go there and go to that institute a lot. So the other facial I had was with Vanita Savant and I ended up interviewing her for the podcast. So if you want to listen to that episode, it is um, linked below. And Vanita is a facialist and kind of like facial healer. Um, and she has a lot of celebrity clients. Naomi Campbell's one of her clients. Um, a lot of people in fashion, musicians, models. Um, she just recently did the Cannes Festival and um, she was there with Fenty and, and did a bunch of stuff for them. So her facial was amazing and it was um, very unique and different. So if you have the opportunity when you're in France to get a facial at Biologique or with Vanita, I highly suggest it. Vanita really is a different type of approach. Biologique's a little bit more commercial. It's a lot spa-like and Vanita is more in, more like healing. It's kind of part therapy, part skincare session. She uses an intuitive method to kind of assess your face and um, it's like going 
to a therapy session and getting a facial. And I felt like it was kind of very relaxing, a lot different than Biologique. And um, it's in a landmark building. It's a little bit more secluded. It's in a neighborhood, kind of in a, a residential area. Her studio is inside of a yoga studio. It really was very relaxing and very calming when I went. And I think um, if that's for you, I think you'll really like it. And to learn more about her process and kind of how she's gotten to where she has in skincare, I do have the episode linked in the show notes so you could listen. <music> Lastly, what do we got? We got the skincare haul from the Paris pharmacies, and I think you are going to be very happy with some of my purchases. Maybe you'll learn some things. I'm gonna tell you the stuff that I wanted to get when I went there, and then stuff that I swapped out for. And maybe this will help you. Like I said, you'll learn something prior to going, and maybe it'll help you out with your purchases, because before I went, I learned a lot through other people sharing their hauls on YouTube. And that's why I wanted to do the same. And people like bloggers and stuff kind of giving a list of products because when you do go to these Paris pharmacies, they are so overwhelming. The place I went, which I'll link the information was so big and had so much stuff. I, even for someone like me who geeks out over skincare and loves it so much, I was like, whoa, this is a lot. Plus on top of it, most of the stuff isn't in the language that I speak. I was very grateful that the women who worked there were so knowledgeable. They knew so much about everything. They kind of helped me figure out dupes. I went in for one Vichy product and then they were like, no, you don't need that product. You should definitely get this. Or for the two products you're trying to get over here, you can get this one product. This I would spend my money on. This I wouldn't spend my money on. This is kind of newer technology. You were probably reading an old post. Like one of the women knew that I found some stuff on a blog and she was like, yeah, that was probably like from five years ago. Um, she's like, this stuff just came out the last year and it's much better. Let's go over what I got. What I think is definitely worthwhile. A lot of the products there are a lot less expensive than they are in the States. I'm talking like 30 to 50% off. One of the biggest um, gets for me was the Caudalie products. And I was going there for Caudalie. Caudalie, Caudalie. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing it right. So basically I was going there for the Premier Crew. This was like 50% off in the United States. This is about $120 a jar. Caudalie eye cream because I'm looking for a substitute for my eye cream. Ginseuticals is getting really expensive. And if I can get my friends to go buy this for me when I go over there, um, I'm gonna do that because it was uh, a lot less expensive than what I'm paying now for stuff. I don't know if it works as I haven't tried it yet. Um, that's gonna be my next round because I've been kind of using the Biologique products right now. I bought the Caudalie cleanser. I like it. I don't think I would spend the money on it here in the United States. There's um, significant you know, swap outs for this, uh, that it's a gel cleanser. So I don't think I would buy that one. I haven't tried these yet, but I'm super excited. These are the Caudalie Vino Scopes. So basically um, this is for like body, um, toning, sculpting, firming the skin, cellulite reduction. I did get two bottles because she told me to, and these were like half off um, over at the pharmacy that I went to. I also purchased the Caudalie spray. Everybody's obsessed with this. I like it. I'll use it. I'm definitely not spending $50 for it in the States, but a lot of people swear by it and love it. I like rose water, to be honest with you. I love Shaytera's rose water and um, I love SK2 when I have the money or I can get a discount on it. What else did I got? Did I get? What else did I got? Uh, I got the Chlorine hair care products, which are a must get while you're there. Um, they make great shampoos. They make great conditioners, color treated hair, fine hair, textured hair. Um, everything dry, uh, oily. They got a whole line. Um, I was overwhelmed with how many options, um, but I got shampoo and conditioner. These are uh, roughly 50% less than what you would pay in the States for um, hair care products. I also got some Marvis toothpaste because we needed toothpaste at the Airbnb and I figured I'd look cool with this. So I bought that. Also, it was less expensive than the States. And uh, the number one buy for me was the Avene uh, water, thermal water for, I use this for everything. I keep this on my desk at work. I use it right before I put on makeup. I use it when I need a refresh for makeup and I use it before I put on every step of my skincare routine. So I highly, highly recommend this. And this was 50% off. I bought, I think five bottles of this. I also brought them home and gave them out as gifts um, for people. I got a lot of friends that are into skincare. Let's see. Okay. French pharmacy item I did not intend to buy, but was kind of sold to me over some other products that I had went for. And that's why I wanted to do this video The I think it's pronounced Philagora or Philorgia. I'm not really sure, but the NCEF shots, these, I was told 
makes such a difference in your skin. Each bottle lasts about 10 days. So she did get me to buy three bottles, um, but they were 50% off of what I could get them online for in the States. So I think I paid around $45 a bottle because they also had a discount on them. And uh, yeah, I know a big purchase. Um, this is where I kind of went over and was after I left, it was like, what, you didn't even try it and you bought three bottles. I could always sell them to friends. So I have a lot of friends who are into skincare and a few friends who use them. And one of my friends swears by this product. So this is the NCEF shot. The Fulfilagora Philorgia, again, I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. These products are supposed to be similar to getting an injection. That's what they're modeled after. There's tons of hyaluronic acid in them. I bought the Time Filler Intensive as well. I also got the Reverse Mat, which is kind of like a multi-correction fluid for wrinkles. And um, it's part of the steps and process with that. This is all like anti-aging products. It's intense. It's like throwing everything but the kitchen sink at you, um, so to speak. It really is uh, an intensive regimen, allegedly from what I've heard and from what I've read online. And um, it really does help with aging, wrinkles, uh, plumping the skin, filling the skin, and um, as preventative from a lot of people who swear by it. I also got their exfoliator, which is a peel, and I can't use abrasive exfoliants. So this is um, a liquid exfoliator called the oxygen peel. And I got that from them. So excited to really try their products. I also bought their eye cream, which is in the bathroom and we're already using it. So that's the NCEF eye cream. And I do like it. It's good, but I haven't used it enough to kind of give a full review on it. And I bought their um, body modeling. This is for firmness, texture, cellulite. A lot of people online really, really love this. And this had some really good reviews because I looked it up while I was in the pharmacy. Um, but she said that this usually sells and people buy that one. And she said a lot of people were coming from the States for these. And so again, I hope I didn't get sold or oversold. Um, and I really do hope this stuff works because I am looking for some other um, products to add to like my SkinCeutical regimen or in between my SkinCeuticals because skincare is getting super expensive. The Bouli products I showed you, I will show you what I got from Biologique. They didn't oversell me, which I was really, really happy about. I really have been to a lot of spas and places, especially when you're a tourist, because they know you're not coming back and they want to get your money, um, where they try to oversell you and get you to buy everything. She told me based on my skin assessment, what I really, really needed. And so I bought those things. She did recommend, I think six products. I ended up walking away with three because these products were more expensive. And honestly, I had already been to the pharmacy and I really didn't have much room left in my budget for skincare stuff. So, but it was a lot more expensive than inexpensive, sorry, than I could get in the States. So I bought the lotion P50. I already talked about that earlier in the video. I bought the um, creme de mort, me, creme de mortifique, which is one of their creams. I like this. It's a little tacky. I don't like it for the summer. I'll put it on by itself. The problem is when I put them together, I feel like it's a little tacky, but I do use each of these products alone and it feels a little bit better. I know it's supposed to be a regimen, but it's like just too much for my skin and my skin really, the first month that I came home, I was using it and my skin really took a hard adjustment to this. And I think part of that was because of the P50. So I do like this. I've been using the cream and um, I really, really love the Serum 3R. I love this. I'm so glad I bought it. And um, I don't know the price point on this because um, it was added to my facial and the cost of my facial, but um, I really, really do like this and I would buy this product again. My best buys, definitely the water, the thermal spray water, the Bouli products I really liked. Um, again, that was a new system for me. That was a new introduction while I was there. I knew that that was a product I had to kind of touch and feel and smell and get educated on because I really don't know a lot about like plant essences or um, uh, natural herbs and things within the, the plant line. And um, I have a friend who's studying this stuff and she does educate me on it once in a while, but I really needed, you know, to kind of figure out what was best for me based on my skin assessment. And that's why Bouli, um, I was really glad to go there. And I thought that was a really, really cool takeaway for me. Yeah, and the Biologique and getting the facial with Vanita and going to the Institute, that was all really rad. And I'm really glad I got a different type of skincare treatment than what I'm used to in the States and a different type of experience. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this haul. I hope you enjoyed my self-care. 
day in France. Yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below, what products have worked for you, places you've been um, in other countries where you've got treatments or other products from around the world that are working for you that you've been introduced to um, because I'm open and I love learning about new skincare products and what other cultures and what other traditions are in other places and adding to my repertoire. So thank you so much. Um, follow, like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the other side. Bye guys.